Hey, how's it going? Shane with the 5 to 9 Creator here. Today, I'm going to show you how to upload custom fonts to CapCut on desktop. So as you can see, I have a project set up right now. I got a text on the screen, but I don't really like this font. So I'm going to use a custom font, but I don't have it on my computer. I need to go download it off the internet. So we're going to use a website called defont.com. So go to Google, type in defont.com, and you'll see this website here. They've got a bunch of different categories for font. So if you don't know what you want, but you kind of have an idea what the style is, you can look through it. If you do know the name of your font, then you can go directly to it by searching in the search on the top right over here. So I want to look for a Western font for this particular video. And I'm in the Western section and I like this Texas Tango. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. I just want to save it to my downloads folder. Once you're finished downloading it, you can go ahead and click at the bottom of your web browser or just go to the place where you saved it. And it's going to be in a zip file. So you have to extract the zip file by clicking extract all. And then you're going to want to go to where it extracted and click on that. And you're going to see a couple of different files. You want to go to the one that says open type font file. Double click that. And then you're going to see this big open box that shows you all the different sizes of your font. You want to go to the top left where it says install. And I already have this one installed, but let's say that I didn't it would just install it into your system and then you can go back into CapCut and use it. All right, so one thing to keep in mind when you're installing fonts is that if you already have CapCut open while your font is installing, you have to exit out and then come back in. All right, now I'm ready to add the font that I just downloaded to this text file. So I wanna click on my text in CapCut. I wanna to go to where it says font. And then if you have this presets open, close that really quick with the down arrow and you wanna to go to system fonts. So you wanna scroll through system fonts. In most cases, the fonts that you've downloaded or installed in your computer already are gonna be at the top. The default ones that come with your computer are gonna to be towards the bottom. So I'm gonna scroll, it's in alphabetical order, so I'm gonna scroll down until I see the one that I'm looking for, which is Texas Bold Personal Use. And then from here, I can further customize this font to look however I want it to look. So that's how you add custom fonts in CapCut for PC, and I would imagine it's pretty much the same for Mac too. That's it for this video. If this video helped you figure out how to add custom fonts to CapCut, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If there's any video you want me to go over in CapCut, put it in the comment section down below. And then if you wanna see more videos on how to edit in CapCut or Premiere Pro, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in a future video.